Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks lets you create user accounts and passwords for the individuals that will access your company file. You can decide which types of activities users can perform and what areas of the application they can access. You can set up users by selecting Company, Set up users and passwords, Set up users from the menu bar. If you have already created an admin user, you will need to enter your password into the QuickBooks Desktop Login dialog box and click OK. That will open the User List dialog box. If you have not yet created the master user, usually called admin, that can access all of the areas of QuickBooks, you will first need to do that. That user account can then create the other user accounts. You typically create the admin user during the Easy Step interview. That is then the default user account for all activities until you create more user accounts. To add a new user after you are logged in as the admin user, Click the Add User button in the User List dialog box to open the Setup User Password and Access wizard. Type the username for the new user into the Username field, and type a password for the user into the Password field. Reconfirm the password you just typed by typing it again into the Confirm Password field, and then click the Next button to continue. To add the new user to your existing QuickBooks license, check the Add This User to My QuickBooks License checkbox. You must purchase a license for each concurrent QuickBooks user. On the next screen, you can set the user's access to all areas of QuickBooks, selected areas of QuickBooks, or external accountant. If you choose either all areas of QuickBooks or external accountant, you will need to click either yes or no in the confirmation prompt window that appears when you click the next button to continue. You then simply click the finish button in the next screen to finish setting up those types of users. If you choose Selected Areas of QuickBooks, you will see the Sales and Accounts Receivable screen appear when you click the Next button to proceed. Select the Option button that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Sales and Accounts Receivable, and click Next to continue. In the Purchases and Accounts Payable screen, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Purchases and Accounts Payable, and then click the Next button to continue. In the Checking and Credit Cards screen, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to checking and credit cards in the company file, and then click the Next button to continue. If Inventory is enabled, then in the Inventory screen that then appears, select the option that corresponds to the access to give the user to Inventory, and click Next to continue. If Time Tracking is enabled, then in the Time Tracking screen that appears, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Time Tracking and click Next to continue. If Payroll is enabled, then in the Payroll and Employees screen, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Payroll and Employees and click the Next button to continue. In the Sensitive Accounting Activities screen, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Sensitive Accounting Activities, and then click the Next button to continue. In the Sensitive Financial Reporting screen, select the option that corresponds to the type of access to give the user to Sensitive Financial Reporting, and then click the Next button to continue. In the Changing or Deleting Transactions screen, Select whether to allow the user the ability to change or delete transactions by setting the desired options and then clicking Next to continue. You can then review the permissions you set for the user in the final screen and click the Finish button to add the user to the user list. You can also select a user account from the user list and then click the Edit User button to change the security settings for the selected user by stepping through the same set of screens you used to initially set the user's permissions. You can also select a user in the user list and click the Delete User button to delete the user account. You will need to click Yes in the warning message box that appears to delete the selected user permanently. When you are finished using the User List dialog box, you can click the Close button within it to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.